I would say that the one thing after story that really makes or breaks a film is performances. And to get great performances, you need good actors. You need trained, professional, compelling actors who are gonna bring your story to life. But how do you find these people? Today, we're gonna to talk about the secret of finding great actors for your films. Casting is an art and it's one that as a director, you don't really do enough. Casting directors get to see actors all day and then see how they perform in the films that they're cast in. They get to develop sort of a, a sixth sense for who has it or whatever it is and who doesn't. But very few directors when we're starting out can afford a casting director. We have to develop our own sort of sixth sense for um, who's gonna look good on camera, who's gonna fit the character, um, who's really gonna take your movie to the next level. It is every director's nightmare to step on set the first day, have an actor in a role that they just don't fit or they struggle with, or you just don't believe them. Um, and as a result, the whole film is kind of pulled down by this. Now it's definitely the director's job and part of the art of directing to get a good performance, the best performance out of any given actor. Um, we'll talk about that in another video. Today, I just wanted to talk about finding the raw talent, finding the people that can be in your films. Five or six times that I've had an actor that's perfect for the role that's really great that's just fit almost every single time i had worked with that actor before on another project i knew them already i knew what they could do we liked each other we got on well they had bought into the idea and they were excited to work on the project now that only happens if you already know that person and i believe that the secret to great casting is working a lot working on a lot of different projects, meeting a lot of different actors, and being able to draw from um, people that you already know and respect and like to work with to fulfill the roles that you have. And you might say, well, I haven't worked with that many people. Um, how do I know good actors? Well, that's the, the secret to becoming a better filmmaker is working a lot. So case in point, uh, I think in February this year, I shot a kitchen commercial. It's the same one that I did a BTS for on this channel, um, if you want to check that out. But I looked through Backstage and Model Mayhem and Actors Access, found about 40 people, um, 40 actors for the wife that I thought was going to, that, that could have worked. I think I auditioned maybe 12 of them um, and presented the final three to the client who picked one who was in the um, commercial. But of those seven I auditioned, one of them um, I ended up doing a photography project with is some of the best photos I think I've ever taken. Two of them ended up in Neon Noir, including Madison Fitz, who actually introduced me to Frank, who plays Hector, and Dimitri, who plays um, Malconian. So that one project led to me meeting all these different actors who introduced me to other actors. And that's a bonus tip, actors, almost always spend time hanging out and acting with other actors. And they'll only recommend people that they respect because they have to be in a movie with them. And if they like them, but they don't think they're very good actors, they won't recommend them because they might end up dragging down the whole ship. So working on different projects, holding auditions, um, making sure that I'm doing something at least every month um, is a way that I've found that I'm meeting a lot of actors. And as a result, when a bigger project comes along, I know a lot of actors. I have contact with a lot of people. Um, I can pull from the network that I have um, of people that I've worked with and I know are dependable, that I know are good. Um, hopefully that helps someone out there find the actor that's right for your movie um, and start developing a network of your own. Leave your questions in the comments. I will see you next time. Oh,